So, this cocktail has been requested many times. I have resisted the urge to do it many times, but I am now going to do, without doubt, the most fucked up cocktail that has ever been fucked up online in the history of cocktails, the mojito. Everyone knows it. Most people make it wrong. Most people make it badly. Let's just hope you all think I do a good job. Cheers. Right. So, it's very, very simple. Okay? First thing you're going to do is you're going to take four pieces of lime, okay, into the glass. Alright? Half a lime. Alright? And then, one second. Trusty muddler, okay? Make sure your muddler fits your glass, you're just gonna thank me later, alright? And give it a good old muddle, alright? So all you gotta do, just that. Everything there is done, okay? Uh, all the juice, all the essential oils are out now, okay? Pays to have an assistant off screen. Now, 50 mils of Rum. Now firstly, everyone, let's just have a little look at this absolutely class vintage bottle of Bacardi. This thing is tippy top, alright? And just goes to show where we are right now, they're not big spirit drinkers. This is probably 70s, maybe even 60s. Right, 50 mil of rum. Now, again, oh, that's a bit of a heavy measure there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna short it ever so slightly. Um, a slightly shorter glass than you will find in some places, but it still works, all right? Now, give it a little mix up, okay? Again, alcohol is a solvent, so what it'll do is it'll start to take the flavor out of the lime and the lime juice right there and then. And then, you're gonna do 50 ml of sugar syrup. This is equal measures, sugar, and water, okay? So 15 ml, right, like that. Now, most people will be like, oh, you need to put your mint in to muddle it together. No. If you muddle your mint in the bottom, firstly, you're gonna end up with a disgusting, like, sludge in the bottom of your glass. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna take 12 sprigs of mint. Now, this is, like, freshly grown from the garden, but if you get it from a pack, that's fine. But count out 12, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Glad you're enjoying me counting. There's a couple more there, because these are kind of small. I'm do one more for good luck. So it's 13 there, okay? Give them a little squeeze together, rub them together like that, just drop them straight in the glass, okay? Little stir, and then you're gonna add just a little bit of crushed ice. Now, crushed ice is a difficult one to get your hands on when you're not in a bar. All I would say is just find or just do what we did before, okay? Which is you take a big block of ice, you freeze it down, and just bash it with a rolling pin. And actually, if I click my fingers, we're going to jump back about six weeks and you're going to see the ice making video. Okay, then just going to talk you through how this all works. So you're going to need a plastic bag to put in the freezer clean tea towel, rolling pin, and your ice, which you just need to leave out for, say, two minutes, three minutes to temper, so it frees up from the outside of here, okay? Now, really simple, really easy. So that, take your tea towel, open it up, down in front, stay there, okay? Come out first time, beautiful. Put that to one side. You're going to just put it all together like this and just a couple of quick taps, okay? And big old shards of glass. There you go. So that's the idea. 
then you have something that's a little bit cooler, a little bit nicer in size that you can pop in your drinks, it isn't going to melt as quickly. Alright, pop it in your bag and you're done. I think you would have just seen my terrible first attempt at filming, but there we go. Alright, now, stir, okay, all you're going to do is, you're agitating everything, you're going to lose a bit of ice, it's fine, lose some ice, it's fine. Okay, stir it all up, make sure the mint and the lime are all nicely stirred in like that. And then you're going to take as much crushed ice as you can fit in your glass, okay. And this is probably the mistake that people make, is that they think it needs to have a load of soda water to it. It doesn't need lots, it just needs, and actually, I mean it tastes pretty good like that now. Just need a little bit there, a little stir, just to kind of even up everything. And don't forget, if it needs a little bit more soda water, you can just add more when you're at home. Like, it's not, it's not a problem, okay? A bit of ice in there. And then, you want it to smell and taste really minty. The best way to do that is you grab a couple of sprigs of mint, give it a little bruise up, and then you just stick it in the top of your glass like that. And then the first thing you smell is mint when you're drinking your mojito. That, for me, is about as near damn perfect as you get. I'm spilling it everywhere, but mojito. Club Tropicana drinks are free. That's an amazing drink, George Michael. There you go. Happy days, mojito. Cheers.